Hello, everybody. This class that I have for you today is going to be a restorative, restorative stretch yoga. Just something to renew and make yourself feel um, refreshed and just stretch everything out, especially if you've been sitting a lot or having to work um, from home or on the computer a lot. This will just kind of help to open and lengthen everything out. So what you're going to need is a mat. If you have a block, you could have that around, or um, if you have a towel or a blanket, if that helps to have, be more supportive in some of the positions, we are going to start in a seated position. So if it is more comfortable to prop yourself up, you can grab one of those to start off as well. But we're going to first start off with just some deep breathing. So if you feel more comfortable, you can either keep your eyes open or you can kind of close your eyes and drop focus towards your breath. As you do that, I want you to sit up nice and tall. Think about lifting from the sternum. Shoulders are stacked over the hips and your ears are over your shoulders. As we close our eyes or gaze forward, I want you to just notice how the breath feels. Not trying to control the breath. But on that inhale, feeling that belly rise the rib cage rise and the chest rise. Feeling how the air travels to the deep part of the back of the throat. And on that exhale, feeling that chest draw in, the belly draw in and the rib cage draw in. Continuing our breathing in that three part breath, belly, ribs, chest, and on that exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Noticing how that creates fluidity within our body. Noticing how that movement of that breath feels. Now I want you to draw focus on how the breath is entering and exiting your body in an even part breath. So on that inhale, if maybe your breath is a count of a four or five, just matching that breath on an exhale on the same count. As we exhale, we're turning on that parasympathetic nervous system that allows our body to naturally relax. And as we move through our poses and move through our practice today, that'll also allow our body to relax in our stretches. Now on the next inhale, I want you to just explore how that breath feels at the top of the breath. So you'll take a deep breath in, just making a slight pause at the top of that breath, exploring that breath. And then as you exhale, taking another slight pause at the bottom of the breath. Just noticing how that breath lingers. Continuing with that inhale with a slight pause at the top and exhale with that slight pause at the bottom. If that style of breathing does not feel comfortable for you, just continue back to those normal breaths without the pause. And take one more inhale and exhale with that slight pause and then returning back to normal breaths. And on that next exhale, you have your eyes closed, begin to open them, drawing awareness back to the room and to the present moment. Just taking a moment to set your intentions for your practice today. And just know in any of your poses today, just listening to your body and seeing how it's feeling. 
and honoring your body as you move through those poses. We should just take a nice deep breath in, drawing the hands back behind the head. And then I want you to draw the elbows back as you slightly lift the sternum, opening through the chest. Nice deep breath in now. And then reaching the hands up towards the ceiling, you can either interlace your fingers or you can grab onto one wrist and just extending straight overhead. Release one hand down by your side, one into lateral side stretch. I want you to reach up, feel the extension from that rib cage and then hinging over to the side, softening that back elbow, rotate that rib cage open and find a comfortable neutral position for your neck. Inhaling back up, release that other hand to the floor. Reach up, opening through the chest and the rib cage, and then hinging over to the side, keeping both sits bones, the whole part of your pelvis grounded to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling, feel the length of the side of the body. Inhaling back up, and just release both hands down onto the knees. I'm gonna drop your chin towards your chest, still lifting and lengthening through the spine, so not allowing the shoulders to round forward. Feel that stretch through the back of the neck going up into the cervical spine. Gently bring it back up towards the center, and just give me a couple little turns side to side with the neck, not forcing anything, just moving the neck as you gaze back towards the shoulder. Bringing that back to the front. Now going into side bend. So you're just gonna drop the ear towards the shoulder without rotating from the shoulders. Just a little bit of a side bend as that ear draws down. And with that opposite hand, you can either press down away or you can bring it palms facing up over to the other side of the hip. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Gently release that hand if you have it back behind your off to the side, send me straight back up. Other ear towards the shoulder, hand can press down or it can slide across the other side, opening through the shoulder at the same time. Nice deep inhales and exhales. And then gently bringing the head back to neutral position. One more time to the center. Drawing that chin towards the chest, but continuing with that length from the spine. Deep inhale and exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, gently release the head back towards the center. We're gonna come down onto an all fours position. If you need the blanket to pad your knees, you can place that underneath your knees or you can just come into that quadruped position. Your knees are going to be underneath your hips. Hands are gonna be underneath the, sh underneath the shoulders. You can also go into that this position if that feels a little more comfortable for you. We're gonna go into cat and cow. As you exhale, you're gonna drop your chin towards your chest, rounding your upper back, pushing through your hands and rotating your pelvis to the back. So rotating the posterior tilt and through the pelvis. On the inhale, you're gonna hinge the pelvis forward as you slightly gaze forward, opening up through the abdominals into cow. Keep repeating into cat and cow. You're exhaling as you round up, dropping the tailbone down, and inhaling as you slightly gaze forward. Just noticing how that movement feels through the spine, how the movement feels through the pelvis. and just going through whatever movement feels best for you. And bringing it back to a neutral position, I want you to just turn the hip side to side as if you were gazing back over your shoulder. You're gonna feel a little bit stretched through the opposite side. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can just go back to what we were just doing or adding some circles with the hips. So bringing it back to neutral. We're gonna circle around 
and then circling the other direction. You can go as deep into that as you like or make the circle smaller. Just creating some movement through the spine and the back. One more time in each direction. And then on the next time as you head back, coming down into child's pose, drawing the ears in between the biceps. Your head may release to the floor or you may want to put a block under the forehead. Not holding tension through the neck. Taking nice deep breaths in and out. This time I want you to stay in child's pose and walk those hands forward into extended child's pose. Reaching away from the body. And that stretch to the outside of the back. Nice deep inhale and exhale. I'm going to give a couple options in child's pose. You can do whatever feels best for you this morning. Option to rotate those hands, palms facing up. It's going to deepen the stretch to the outside of the back and into your lat muscle. Maybe you'd like to walk your hands over to one side and hold that stretch. Take a few deep breaths in and out. And then walk over to the other side. Or maybe you want to just hold straight in the center. You pick what your option is right for you. Bringing your hands back to the center, this time coming into wide knee child's pose. Angle out the knees towards the edges of the floor. You may be able to go a little bit deeper into that stretch, but opening up the inner thighs. We're getting a little bit deeper stretch into that lower back. Nice deep inhale and exhale. And then walking those hands back down towards the knees. Come back up onto that all fours position. We're going to go into threading the needle. As you take that inhale with your right arm, I want you to open through the chest. Just kind of feel that stretch through the chest. And on that exhale, you're going to rotate palms facing up underneath that other hand and turn and look in the opposite direction towards that hand. Relax any tension through the shoulder. Kind of allow the body weight to deepen that stretch on the back of the arm. You're stretching out your posterior deltoid, the muscle on the back of the shoulder. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, push through the hand that's underneath the shoulder, coming back up onto that quadruped all fours position. Inhale with the other arm, rotating from the thoracic spine, lifting that outside rib. Exhale, palm comes facing up. Turn and gently release the forehead down onto the floor. Or if you have that yoga block, you can place it underneath the head. I'm reaching with that bottom arm. I'm relaxing my body weight down onto that arm. Nice deep inhale and deep exhale. Pressing with that top hand, coming back onto that all fours position. And then going back down one last time into child pose, whatever option might be comfortable for you. You have extended child's pose, you have wide knee child's pose, or you can just relax those arms gently by the side, resting the forehead down and releasing it. Taking a couple of deep breaths in and out in this restorative resting pose. One more deep inhale. And exhale, walk those hands back up. You're gonna sit on your hips and slide your feet towards the front of the mat or out in front of you. You can either be sideways to your mat or bring those feet out. I'm gonna take a nice deep inhale. And keeping a nice flat back position, I'm going to hinge forward from my hips. So I'm creasing from the hips as I draw my tailbone back. And I'm reaching for my shins, ankles, or maybe my toes, whatever I can reach, keeping my toes lifted straight towards the ceiling. Keeping good alignment through the spine. 
Nice deep inhale and deep exhale. The knees can be soft. You don't have to force that stretch. We're lengthening to the back of the legs as we draw the kneecaps upward. Gently coming back up. I want you to bring one foot in. So we'll just say the right foot, the sole of the right foot in to the inner thigh of the left foot. If this isn't comfortable for your knee, you can place that blanket and stack it underneath the thigh. If that's a little bit more comfortable, or you can just allow that knee to fall open. Keeping both sits bone in contact with the floor, I want you to slightly rotate towards that extended leg. Take a deep breath in, and then hinging from the hips, again, reaching for shins, ankles, or toes. If you have a strap, you can also place that strap around the foot as well to lengthen and extend. I want you to bring your right hand across to the outside of that left leg at the calf, ankle, or maybe even grabbing onto that back of that big toe, going into a spinal twist. Left hand goes back behind you, a little bit of rotation from the rib cage as I turn and gaze back towards my shoulder. Or if that's not comfortable for my neck, just finding a position that's comfortable for my neck. You can also be up in this position as you rotate, kind of pressing a little bit with the right hand. If you feel comfortable with that and are wanting a deeper stretch, one more deep breath in. And exhale, gently rotate nice and slowly back towards the center. We're gonna switch that to the other side. Other leg extends, sole of the foot comes to that inner thigh, rotating just a little bit towards that extended leg with the toe faced up. I'm inhaling up, excellent, extending forward, pressing my hips back and away, drawing my kneecap up, keeping my spine long and my crown of my head extending out and forward. Deep inhales and exhales, a nice deep stretch through the back part of the back of my leg into my hamstring. Sliding my left arm to the outside of my right calf ankle or grabbing onto the outside of my foot. Right hand comes back behind me and a little bit of a twist and rotation. As we twist in this pose, we're, we're detoxifying our body. Also aiding in digestion. Taking a nice deep breath in. And now as we exhale, I want you to slowly rotate out of that twist and then slowly make your way back up. Good, coming into bound angle pose. Bring the soles of both feet together. You can either hold at the toes or at the ankles. Think about the crown of the head lengthening towards the ceiling and just allowing the hips to open, allowing the knees to draw down towards the floor. Noticing with each exhale how your body relaxes a little bit more into each stretch. And one last time, deep breath in. And gently release. Good, we're gonna come down onto our back. If you need support as you slide down, just place your hands under your thighs and round yourself down nice and gently. I want you to have your knees bent, both feet touching so they're close by, arms extended out to your side at shoulder level. Make sure both shoulders stay engaged on the right and left side and grounded to the floor. You're gonna slowly release your knees to the right side your gaze is just up towards the ceiling. We're gonna slowly rock our knees to this right side, pause in the center, realign our spine, and going over to the other side. So side to side, working through our lumbar spine. And remember keeping both shoulders in contact with the floor. My feet are stacked, so as I go to one side, my opposite foot does lift off a little bit off the floor. One last time, exhale, bring it back to center. And now on this one, we're gonna hold that stretch into a spinal twist. 
So release the knees over to the right side and you can have the option of turning and gazing, looking down the left arm, or if it's more comfortable for your neck, just gaze up towards the ceiling. Notice that deep stretch through the spine. And taking a couple deep breaths in and out through the left side of the body. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring it back to the center. And then rotating over to the other side. Left knee over to the other side. Again, your gaze can be up towards the ceiling or turn and look down the other arm. Toward the right side. Inhaling and exhaling to the right side of the body. Relaxing the shoulders. Then the length and the stretch through the side of the body. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring it back to the center. Bring both knees in towards the chest and a double knee stretch. Your hands can either be underneath the knees or they can be behind pulling in. Relaxing the shoulders, gazing up towards the ceiling. I want you to bring your right knee in towards the right shoulder and then the left leg, you're gonna either place it bent knee if you need more support through the back or you can slide your heel out away from the body into single leg stretch. As you slide that left heel out, I want you to imagine standing on that leg firmly. So as I press my heel away from my body and I pull my right knee in towards my right shoulder, I may be able to feel a stretch through the front of that left hip. I may also feel a stretch through my lower back as I draw that right knee in towards that right shoulder. And then sliding that right leg up if you have that knee extended. And we're gonna switch that to the other side. Release that right leg, knee bent, foot flat on the floor. Left knee this time pulls in towards the left shoulder. My right knee can stay bent, foot flat on the floor or I can slide the heel out away from my body. I'm pressing and extending that right heel out as if I was standing on the floor. And I may also feel that stretch through the front of my right hip flexor. Soften the shoulders so I'm not creating tension through my neck as I draw my left knee towards my left shoulder. And then gently drawing that foot back up. Right knee bent, foot flat on the floor, and then left knee down. Arms out to the side. This time, bring your feet towards the edges of the mat. So if you have a regular size mat out to the side, we're gonna go into windshield wipers. This works mobility in through the hip. So different than the one we just did with the lower back, because our feet were together. On this one, your feet are nice and wide. So as I drop my knees towards the floor side to side, I'm not touching my other leg. Both shoulders stay grounded to the floor. I'm just listening to my body. as I roll side to side, opening up through the front of the hip. And one more time on each side. And bring it back up, bring both feet towards the center, double knee stretch again. This time option, you can go side to side if that feels more comfortable, giving your spine a little bit of massage. If you wanna circle those legs, work in the hip joint in either direction, or just holding that stretch, bringing the knees in towards the chest. Going into piriformis stretch, you're gonna release the left foot down, still knee bent foot on the bottom floor, cross your right ankle onto your left knee. You can either hold onto your ankle or underneath your left thigh, or a deeper stretch, bring the left leg off the ground, and I'm pushing my left knee back in towards my right ankle, still keeping my shoulders relaxed, my neck relaxed, opening up through the glutes, and allowing my hip to externally rotate, so allowing that hip to fall out to the side, with that left ankle, you can make small little ankle circles. 
working the mobility into that ankle joint. Reverse directions, go the other way. And gently release that foot to the floor. We're gonna repeat that stretch on the other side. Left ankle onto right knee. You can hold at the ankle or back behind the thigh. Bring the left leg, right leg off the floor, opening through that left leg, allowing that left hip to open up. Relax the shoulders and the neck. Find a neutral alignment for the neck as you gaze up towards the ceiling. You can also have a blanket underneath the neck if you need more support. Nice deep inhales and exhales. And then gently release. I want you to roll onto one side. You have an option of reaching back towards that ankle or maybe just bending the knee. So with that bottom leg, you're gonna extend it out. The bottom arm, you're gonna support your head or if you have your blanket or your towel, you can place that underneath you. Sliding your hand down your shin, drawing the knee down, maybe allowing the knee to fall in line with the other knee or just moving into that position or direction. Wherever you feel the stretch through the front of the thigh. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Gently release that foot. I want you to come and bring your knees into a 90 degree position. So 90 degrees from here. Have your hip in line with your knee joint. I want your shoulders stacked on top of each other. If you don't have a blanket or towel, your hands just underneath your head. If you have something to support your neck, both arms can be extended out with the hands closed. This is called opening the book. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, as you open the book up, I want you to keep that knee joint in position. As you exhale out, you're drawing the rib cage down towards the floor, drawing the shoulder blade down towards the floor without the hips opening backwards. So keep the knees in contact with the floor. You can even place your hand on the knee joint. And then you're going to close the book back up. Exhale to open, drawing that rib cage down towards the floor. Inhale to close. We're going to do two more just like that. Exhale to open. Inhale to close. And last time. And drawing back down. Good, just roll over to the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. Stacking the knees. So the knees are in line with the hip joint. My shoulders are stacked, arms extended out, or my bottom hand can be under my head to support my head. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, we're drawing open at shoulder level, drawing that rib down towards the floor, and then exhaling, closing the book back up. And repeat, our bottom hand can also be holding onto our knee as we open. We're working on thoracic mobility. So our thoracic spine is that mid area in our spine, underneath our neck and above our lumbar or lower back. And by keeping our knees in this 90 degree position, it helps to lock out our lumbar spine. One more time, exhale to rotate. And then closing that book back up one last time. Rolling onto our back, bringing both knees into our chest, taking a nice deep breath in and out into double knee stretch one last time. I want you to slide your hands down your shins, ankles, or your big toe coming into happy baby pose. Lifting the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling, bending the knees, drawing the ankles down stacking over the knees and keeping the knees in by the rib cage. You can hold here, you can also rock side to side. Just make sure that your lumbar is in contact with the floor. You need to stretch out your legs a little bit. If your hamstrings still need a little bit extra attention, you can extend those legs. And then one foot at a time, we're gonna release it down towards the floor. We're gonna finish in Shavasana, which traditionally is done with your legs extended out, laying down. If 
There's a different position that's more comfortable for you. You can have your knees bent. If you need to relax your legs, you can bring your knees in together. You can be in child's pose. You can be in any resting pose. If you need more support in through the neck, you can place that blanket behind that neck. Palms faced up, either options with the legs, maybe legs extended or knees bent, feet flat on the floor, but just finding a position that's very supportive towards you. Feel free to close your eyes, draw and focus back towards your breast, just like we did at the beginning of this class, or you can gaze up towards the ceiling. I want you to notice how those breaths move in and out of the body, using that even part breath. Noticing again how the belly rises with each inhale, the rib cage, the chest. And noticing how the chest draws in, the rib cage draws in, and the belly draws in with each exhale. making any small adjustments you may need to with your body to feel more comfortable and more supported. As you feel your body sinking further and further down into the floor with each breath. There's any other any tension that draws back into the body, just making any small adjustment you need. Noticing the front of the forehead relaxing. Noticing the deep eye sockets relaxed. Maybe drawing the tongue towards the roof of the mouth to relax the lips to relax the jaw, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, maybe feeling the shoulder blades more in contact with the floor, opening up through the chest, arms are fully relaxed and supported by the floor, feeling the back relax, the low back relax, the hips, the front of the legs, the back of the legs, feeling the ankles all the way to the toes, fully relaxed and fully supported by the floor. Just noticing how this feels in this relaxation pose. Noticing how the body feels supported by the floor beneath. Noticing the whole body relaxed. Noticing the whole body supported by the floor. On the next couple exhales, I just want you to let out a little bit of a sigh. So on the inhale, traveling that air to the deep part of the back of the throat and just exhaling it out. Releasing any and all tension left that might be still there in the body. One more deep breath in. And then just letting a nice sigh out. Begin to make small movements with the body, wiggling the fingers or the toes, awakening the body. If you have your eyes closed, you can open your eyes. Drawing notice back to the rooms, into the present moment. Your legs are extended, just bend the knees, and then roll onto your side into a sideline position. Just couple, take a couple nice deep breaths in and out in the sideline pose.
enjoying this moment of relaxation and this time that you've taken out to refresh your body today. That top hand, place it on the floor to support your spine as you sit back up. Coming into a cross-legged position or whatever might be comfortable for you, you can grab onto that blanket too. I just want you to take a moment of gratitude, something you might be thankful for in this present moment. Finishing class on a positive note. And I just have a, a few quotes for you today as we close in class. You cannot always control what goes on outside, but you can always control what goes on on the inside. Meditation means dissolving the invisible walls that unawareness has built. So with these, with these meditations or these meditative quotes, just kind of allowing your situation or circumstance to be a time of reflection and growth in this present moment. So enjoying small moments and positivity that you can bring. Just take a couple, kind of finish with a couple breaths together. Nice deep inhale as we reach our arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing our hands to heart center, sealing in that energy. One more deep breath in. Another energizing breath, bringing our hands to heart center. And namaste, everybody. Thank you for joining us in the class today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.